Ashes, but only one will be able to stand atop the Ashes at the end of Game 3. Will it be Team Liquid Philippines on the blue side once again showing us the Carl TZ Lancelot? Or will it be RSGPH who has surprised us here on the last day of the group stages? It looks like so far that the Hayabusa is actually falling behind in terms of clear. So that's something that of course TLPH can definitely work with as you know, Carl TZ once again on the Lancelot going to be steamrolling throughout the bushes as well as his own jungle. But again, I'm still worried about this mid trio. I think that RSGPH should be able to clear a lot quicker, but Wait a second, it looks like the Aurora and the Kaja has been able to clear a lot quicker, hence the rotations coming through. Yeah, I think they've been assisting a little bit in the jungle, and we can actually see Carl all already on the opposite side, having a clear EXP advantage against Era, just going directly for the scaling to try and outpace the enemy jungler. Mm -hmm. And if we take a look back into the emblems, we do see that Benicuti has opted to go for Warcry. So it's a little bit more of aggression on his part as compared to the previous game that we saw when he was on. So with this Warcry, it does give him a little bit more of uh, physical damage to work with against the Harith. But obviously, it's still something that we need to wait on for that power spec to hit. Uh, we can see as well, doing a good job here, JP. His job is just going to be to stick to light. Kacha has picked up to make sure that Grok doesn't get to roam freely because that's typically what this hero is picked up for. And now we are going to wait on that level 4 power spike, obviously, for Team Liquid to start going in for these crazy plays. So I don't know if they still want to contest this first turtle. We've seen TLPH just leave it open, don't want to give too much in favor of RSG Philippines. And that's exactly what they do. So RSG Philippines have picked up that first neutral objective, and that will propel them a little bit in terms of that goal. Probably a good idea, though, from the side of Team Liquid, because they do realize that RSG is going to be stronger at this stage of the game. Mm -hmm. They just have more damage overall, especially with something like a Zas controlling the turtle pit. So they're not going to risk it. They're going to make sure they have items first, even if it does mean giving up that first objective. And usually when we see that, we do see that Team Liquid is very quick for that follow-up. And when I mean follow-up, is a cross-map play. They usually look for that gold lane to give Benicuti a little bit of a better time. But it looks like RSG Philippines are actually very quick in the rotation. They're actually denying that from going in. Ooh, but wait a second. Here comes JP. Flicker Divine Judgment on the Grok. Exactly who he expected. And that's first blood for Carl TZ. Even jumping into the back line to poke air at a little bit. This does be... It's, it's, it's an expected outcome. But it looks like, oh, Sanji? Irad wants him, wants to pop the passive at least. But Sanji actually able to keep it intact. Not enough damage. Okay, so both of these teams are actually pulling the punches in the earlier stage of the game. And technically, we're also waiting for Benny Cutie to pick up that first item. Hasn't necessarily had his time to get there just yet. If we take a look at the level leaderboard, Carl TZ is ahead right now with one level in EXP as compared to Irad. And... That is maybe the expectation that we're coming into for the next turtle to spawn. This is the time when Team Liquid maybe wants to look in for a pickoff first before they go in for the contestion for the turtle. We can definitely see for sure, though, that this game is going a bit more slowly compared yeah. to the previous two games. Both teams have gained a good amount of respect for their opponents and don't want to be the ones making mistakes first. They're correctly identifying the window that they will be able to play around. Though, so JP could be in a bit of trouble here while trying misses with a flicker. Divine Judgment pulls him into the tower, but there's no one there to follow up, so light is fine. Kind of messy there. There's a lot of resources wasted already by both of these teams before they go for the neutral objective take, and technically RSG Philippines, they do have a little bit more to work with, right? The Ruby has now joined into the team fight, and that's something that they need to be aware of coming into this turtle take. Carl gonna come and arrive here. JP gonna get scouted out. I'm offended. Pulls him back into the Ogi Shadow kill. Oh, just barely gets that last hit. Aqua will kill off the Kaja. Carl TZ though, able to secure the turtle though. Sanford now stuck behind the Guardian's barrier with the rest of RSG Philippines. Actually holding on to his Primal Wrath, waiting for a better opportunity as Irad jumps onto Sanji once again. Passive still available, so Irad wants to pop that and he will be able to get it. Sanford, maybe a bit far, pops the Primal Wrath, gets stunned and pulled at the same time though. So it does not matter. Aqua even getting a double kill on the Sanji. Dominator is sent under the tower. He's gonna get punished for this. The oh. fight continues. Team Liquid just 
breaks through the ranks of RSG Philippines and returns the favor with a double for Benny Cutie. Look at that retaliation from Team Liquid, right? Initially, it was a 3-0, but they were able to get three members from the side of RSG Philippines. Granted, with the amount of time that they had to contribute into that team fight, we see that Kusei is going to be able to get that turret in the top side. So that is a trade. But overall, Team Liquid, they're the ones holding on to the gold lead as it looks like Carl Teasy wanted to go and translate that and take away that purple buff. Yeah, looks like he wasn't successful though as Irad was still able to get it for himself. Team Liquid gonna look for the opportunity to kind of regroup themselves here because they have been able to find a little bit of advantage against RSG. So now, right, six minutes in, there are certain things that we need to keep an eye out for, right? Kusei already has the Starlium Scythe, so he is on his way for that second and third out Empire of Spike that we know and love from the Harith. And technically, Benny QT, first item Wind Talker. What do you think about that? First item Wind Talker. This is, if you go first item Wind Talker on a Roger, it means you're planning to scale to late game. You're basically not looking to fight very much in the early stages, and you want to wait until you get like second, third item. Then you'll really hit hard, and you'll actually be able to match in scaling compared to some other marksmen. Uh, so it could definitely pay off, especially since Liquid knows they're probably not going to be stronger early on. And that's what we're seeing, right? They're paying it very patiently right now. We do see setup, though. Ooh, nice! Divine Judgment on the Ruby. Pulls it into Frigid Frost. That's going to be Nibor down for the count. Wild Charge already used. Not able to really set in in anything up. Call TZ on the Turtle. Zaman Force. Kusei chasing oh. down JP. Irad steals the Turtle away from Team Liquid. And now Ogi Shadow Kill is used. He gets the kill onto Sanford. And Benny Cutie double kill for the Hayabusa. And now Call TZ realizing I probably should not be here right now. And backing it off. That was a 4-0 trade for RSG Philippines. And technically, Arad earlier on, he was a level below of Carl Teasy. The fact that he was able to steal it was immense. But look at this 1v1. Arad doesn't have Ogi Shadow kill yet, but he's got a good amount of damage. Nice Torn Rose and the Phantom Execution. Oh, oh that last hit. Almost. Arad just barely survives. Look at these two junglers. I mean, technically, Arad has lethal ignition, oh. but wait a second. Carl Teasy dodged a wild charge with Torn Rose, and now Light just dies under the tower. That's insane! What is going on between both of these junglers? They are showing off. They are feeling themselves. And it looks like in the mid lane, we do see a little bit of trades in damage, but not so much as to take someone down. But look how the, the pendulum has struck for both of these teams. And again, we have a second item down in for Benny QT. He has opted to go for endless battle. So the damage is ramping in, but Kusei, on the other hand, is going to be able to pick up that Feather of Heaven too. And uh, he's got a tower in the bottom side too. Let's take a little bit of a replay into what happened earlier on. Man, that outplay though. Actually, such a good outplay. And Carl Tease, even using the Torn Rose, I, th I thought it might have been early, but it was just nice to avoid that. Though now I'm offended. Carl Tease, again, Torn Rose gets him out of danger, but will it be enough to get away from Irad? The answer is no. Shut down. Killing spree for the Hayabusa. And RSG should be happy with that. And you know, up until this point, nobody has actually built in Sky Piercer, right? There's just been so many trades on the board that getting that item would have been a little bit too greedy, maybe, right? So they're going for something that's a little bit more sure. When it comes down to the Lancelot, I think earlier on we did see a Hunter Strike build being built in. And the same item does come in for Irad, who's Ooh. also picked up the Malefic. Whoa, wait a second. Flicker Wild Charge from Light onto JP, forces the Flicker out from him as well to be able to get away, as now the Lord dropping down to 40%. Liquid in position, but can they steal it away? Nibor is CCing the back line, and Sanford actually steals it away from RSG. Light gonna pay the price in his presence. Ogi Shadow Kill comes out once again, but Team Liquid are still very healthy, so it's not gonna do anything. Will they actually chase him down? They oh. do! They find him oh. the Earth Shatter, and Carl TZ with the shutdown and a taunt right in their face. Baby 40, though, with that Lord Steel. Looks like so much more, some more drama's coming. Oh, Carl Teasy is just going in for it. He's actually doing a lot of damage as well. But now he's really deep. Hopefully he has ways out of the... Oh, Kusei! He, he just walked into it! The fan execution! 
Carl Teasy is showing us how it's done. Oh man, Team Liquid coming back in the minute of 10, ladies and gentlemen, as RSG Philippines are slowly losing the ball that they were holding. That Lord is going to be marching down in the bottom side of the map as Carl Teasy wants to double down on his damage. B -O -D. And he picks up that BOD. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Carl. Okay, I mean, we are definitely seeing why Liquid wants to insist on Carl TZ playing Lancelot. He is doing a good show of it right now, and I don't think anyone can complain anymore about his assassin skills. And the problem was, right, in the drafts, the ruby was left open, and I thought that that was one of the biggest mistakes that they did in the drafting phase, but it looks like up until this point, Nibor hasn't really found a moment to be able to stop Carl Teasy. He's still sitting at a 5-1-3 KDA. Wait a second, what? Well, charge again. JP wasn't able to get the Divine Judgment. Bridget Frost used to zone out RSG as well. So a lot of resources committed on both sides. All players going to choose to back away. By the way, BinnyQT, BOD too. Oh my god, double, <laughs> double BOD on Team Liquid. I mean, why not? Yeah, they're, they're feeling the momentum. They are definitely feeling the swing. And up until this point, they do have a 4K gold lead. And they want to close this as soon as possible. Not allowing RSG Philippines any time to retaliate. Sanford's stuck, though. Ooh, and a bit of trouble actually getting pulled in with the I Am Offender. Does he have Primal Wrath? Looks like he doesn't, actually. Aqua just going to get a free kill here. Light now is scouting out Carl Teasy. Flickers forward. Oh, he missed time to watch charge. Carl, the Torn Rose, understanding it's limits. Technically, it's not too bad, right? Technically, losing Sanford there is not too bad, but obviously, Team Liquid don't want to make this a pattern for themselves as we enter the mid-game because they do have a little bit more time to set up for that Lord, and both of these teams are going to be corralling behind it. If we take a look into the items, we do see that there's a lot of aggression being built in from Team Liquid. We have two BODs for the Lancelot as well as the Roger. Uh, the Aurora is also really spiking in. Wait, what? The Malefic Roar? Oh man, Carl Teasy, he means business here. Going for a little bit more damage as well in his kit. Not going for hybrid this time around. Hunter Strike, BOD, and the Malefic Roar to top it all off. Both teams are just looking to brawl here. Even Irad has gotten his BOD. I can see Aqua looking to get a Sky Piercer next. He just completed it actually. So they're just ready to fight and they understand that they gotta make sure they do it properly because we have seen so many comebacks from Bounty Gold being claimed. But Kusei doesn't have that Holy Crystal yet, Stuff. Uh, I don't think he's ready for that big team fight yet. I don't think that damage is going to be enough, seeing as there's a lot of magical defense items from the side of TLPH to anticipate from that from happening. Does he go Divine Glaive first? But that would definitely put that Holy Crystal item power spike on hold for just a bit, right? We have Radiant Armor on Sanford. We do have the Athena Shield coming in from JP. Obviously, they're also respecting the damage output coming in from, of course, the Zas for Aqua. But yeah, again, the layering of skills. Oh, there you go. Uh, Holy yeah, Crystal, just got it. no Divine Glaive though. Yeah, we are gonna need to see that later, but Holy Crystal is a pretty important mm -hmm. item for Harif at this stage of the game. You really need that magic power to just up your damage to a point where you can keep up with the defensive items that are being purchased here. And we do see both teams kind of slowing it down. Team Liquid backing off to make sure that they're not losing too many structures. Two of the pushes being set up by RSG. And even though RSG kind of have a clear shot at the Lord, they also don't want to risk starting it. No, they don't. Not up until this point, right? It really boils down for JP. I think there's a lot of pressure for JP right now. Because if he's going to be able to get that perfect Divine Judgment combination with a flicker in and everybody's able to follow up on that damage, even out the playing field a little bit more, that is going to be detrimental to the success of TLPH in this upcoming team fight. Seeing as RSG Philippines, they have a lot going for them Ooh, and there JP, it is. He found the Divine Judgment into the Bridget Frost and Light is gone. Killing spree for the Roger and Carl. A, oh, a beautiful flicker. I'm offended over the wall, but is it going to be enough? Carl still able to get out Sanford, not even using his Primal Wrath just yet. RSG not able to punish Liquid for their aggression, and now this could be a chance. But he's so low. Okay, Carl TZ opens up with the Haas Claws, should be able to get that HP back in no time. But the fact that that will be able to deny that Lord take eventually, but let's see the retaliation from RSG Philippines. 
And Nibor, he's got I'm Offended back up. So he's going to be the main initiator right now since the light is gone. JP going to be looking for him. Divine Judgment available. Actually, a good CC, but it's not enough. Divine Judgment still comes out. Aqua going to fall. Oh. We're going to see Kusei being jumped on. The Lord secured by Call TZ. Irad wants to get the kill onto Sanford, but he doesn't. Call with the double kill. And four members down from RSG Philippines. Light all by his lonesome. Going to try his best to defend against the minions, try and hold back the surging tides. But it is not going to be enough. Team Liquid shows the world what they've got. They are the waves crashing upon the sands. RSG Philippines will be humbled once again as Team Liquid takes the series.